All right, you guys, today we're working on a 2020 F-350. I'm gonna be changing out the cabin air filter. So figured I'd show you guys how to do that if there's anybody out there that doesn't know how. So first thing fo uh, first, open up the little compartment doors here and you're gonna pull this piece out, just like a little rubber insert. Um, there's little clips on the bottom. So you're just gonna pull it straight out. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. It's got these clips on the back that just push straight in and then clips right there that just, you know, go in as well. Um, so after that, you're gonna take out these two seven millimeter screws here. Um, so I'm gonna zip those out. They're seven millimeters, there's just two of them. So now if you have those two screws out, you're going to be taking off this little um, piece right here off of the door. Okay, so you're gonna push down on this like that. Okay, so there's that. And then uh, on this side, you have a little tab you're gonna push in. And on this side as well, you're gonna push in on that right there. And then the whole entire glove box will basically drop. So now essentially you're just gonna pull out on this. Okay, you got one wire attached right there. You can unplug it, but usually what I do is I kind of just rotate it, still plugged in. Um, and then in here, you have a tab on this side, you kind of pull left. And then on this side, you're gonna pull that way on the little tab right there. And then it releases it. Pull the filter out. Okay, so now, let me zoom out. Now you're basically just gonna shove the filter in there. You gotta make sure it goes in there correctly or else it'll not block all of the particulates or particles that try to get into the evap core. Cause that's essentially the job of this is to one, protect the evap core and two, filter the air that goes through the cab. So there's that. We're gonna slip this back on. And there's that and that. Now this, just rotate it back up. Got your two screws there. Um, and then this here, you're going to do the same, but in reverse. So stick this in the hole and then push up, clicks into place. Then you have these little tabs push in on them. Push in, install your screws. Um, and then that little cover that goes in, push up, done.